That's the most concerned I've ever seen you look, Diamant. Oh, Divine One. I apologize. Didn't think anyone else was here. What's that you're holding? This is a medal my father gave me a while back. A commendation from the king. From King Morian. I was with our troops during an intense battle against Illusia. We found ourselves surrounded. We needed to make a quick retreat, so I took command out of sheer desperation. When we returned, Father gave me this medal. It felt like the first time he saw me as a leader, but occasionally, I wonder, was it my leadership that got us home? Or was it pure luck? Perhaps I didn't earn this. So, even the Crown Prince of Brodia suffers through moments of self-doubt. Sorry to shatter the illusion. To protect my country's reputation, I must insist you keep this conversation private. Of course. You saw me in a vulnerable moment with that corrupted soldier, so let's call it even. But I will say one thing. Hmm. Knowing that you do have a vulnerable side makes me feel a bit closer to you. Vulnerability isn't always a bad thing. <laughs> You're a peculiar leader, Divine One. The most gorgeous flowers are in bloom this morning, Divine One. I was going to bring you a blossom, but I could not bring myself to pick it. Beauty is given such precious little time to thrive already. Good morning. What do you say to a walk before breakfast? I'd like to show you the place where these flowers are blooming. fun today. So this is what it feels like to have family. Vale, there's something I'd like to ask you. How do you feel about our father? About Sombra? Oh. Soon we'll have to face him. Not as his children, but as his enemies. So, I had to ask. Yes. Papa hurt so many people in the past. And now he's doing it again. He is evil. He's never shown me kindness. I'm not sure he thinks of me at all. Still, he is family. Just like you. So, I can't hate him entirely. I understand. Sometimes I just wish I could be part of a happy family. But I know that's a silly dream. At the very least, I hope I can stop Papa before he hurts anyone else. No. I will stop him so that is how i feel about our father thank you for telling me Vale. i feel the same the time for reconciliation is long past i will use all of my power to stop sombron but i won't be able to do it without you don't worry you and me and the rest of our friends we'll stop him together okay let's do this veil vale. then when it's all over, our future can truly begin. Yes. For our future. Ivy, this is not... Too late to take it back. You said you would do whatever I asked as penance. Yes, but... No excuses. To make amends, you must eat this spicy dish, and I expect you to clean your plate. <sighs> Has fear rendered you speechless? Perhaps I was too harsh. All right. I'll forgive you if you can endure a single bite. This was your own doing, if you'll recall. I still don't believe you have anything to atone for. How... <clears throat> Wait... How are you enjoying this so much? I made certain it was incredibly spicy. 
I love spicy food. You do? Father told me you couldn't stand it. Perhaps I misheard him. Oh, it's so yummy. I can't stop eating. But this is definitely not a punishment. It's more like a reward. <sighs> I love eating this food so much, but I hate not making amends for the past. No matter. If she enjoys it, so much the better. She is genuinely moved to tears. Your atonement ends here, Lady Vale. What? No, this can't be it. I'll stop eating this incredible food. I will. No, please finish it. Don't let it go to waste. Seeing you in pain is not going to bring me any closure, you know. If anything, I think seeing you happy is more likely to do it. I can't believe how many rare gems have been stitched into this dress. It's so sparkly. Are you pleased with your new attire, Lady Vale? My attire? Oh, I can't possibly keep this. It's way too valuable. Oh, really? I was sure it would suit you. And why did you hand me this deed saying I own a deserted island with beautiful beaches? It also says private villa included. A pretty dress deserves a pretty escape, don't you think? I suppose. But I can't accept a deserted island or a gem-covered dress. Perhaps just this crown, then? I had it custom-made for you, Lady Vale. Oh, it's so beautiful. Wait, no, I can't. I don't need this. But, but, oh, won't you please accept just one of these things? For my sake. For your sake? What do you mean? Oh, I understand. This isn't a gift. It's an offering. It's like when the worshippers from Illusia kept giving me all those fancy offerings, hoping their wishes and prayers would be granted. Really? Oh my. Well, I won't accept anything from you, Citrine. It's unfortunate, really. All I wanted was for us to be friends. Oh dear. Lady Vale... You know, sitting with you by a toasty fire? It feels just like the good old days. Yes, we shared many a night like this after that first encounter. Our scuffle with the bandits, back when we were just a couple of travelers roving the queendom together. At the time, of course, I had no idea my princess was actually a princess. You never asked. Honestly, I assumed you'd piece it together. Listen, Princess Tamara. Most royals don't sneak out of their castles to rain justice on unsuspecting bandits. Yeah, well, I'm not most royals. <laughs> no argument there. But really, do you remember how shocked I was to learn that you were the Princess of Solm? I had just gotten through telling you, basically, my whole life story. How I had always dreamed of becoming a knight, but my lineage made it impossible. I told you that was the reason I ran away from home. And then, you? I asked if you really, truly wanted to be a knight. And I said yes. With my whole heart, yes. You placed your sword on my shoulders, one after the other, and said, I hereby deem thee a knight of the queendom. And I laughed. I thought it was all in fun. But you weren't laughing, my princess. You were looking at me like you meant it. Yunaka, do you have a moment? Sure. About that sparring match just now. I feel like your attitude needs adjusting. What do you mean? A sparring match isn't a fight to the death. But you went right for my throat back there. I'd like it if you slowed things down a bit. Try being a bit more sporting. What? No. Sorry, but that's ridiculous. I'm not gonna do that. Excuse me? Marin, I know you think it's super stylish to pause for a monologue in the middle of a fight. But if you're gonna do that, you might as well point to your kidneys and ask for a shanking. With me, the worst you get is a bump on the noggin. A real enemy would eviscerate you. I know that. 
I just wanted to test out a bit of verbal repartee. Test it for what? If it's no good in an actual engagement, then what good is it? I get it, I do. But what's wrong with a bit of verbal jousting during sparring matches? Dropping a catchphrase during combat spices things up. A mid-battle monologue sounds cool. Just do what you need to do after I'm done talking. We're allies, after all. No. It's a bad habit to make light of combat. I thought for sure you'd understand that, seeing as you're a knight. Guess I was mistaken. If that's all, I'll be going. Come on, Yunaka. You're right, of course. I just wanted to have a bit of... fun.